गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू इन लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द इफेक्ट ऑफ चेंज इन सेंटर ऑफ डिस्टेंस ऑन द प्रेशर एंगल ऑन द बैकलेस सो वी डिस्कस ऑन द कांस्टेंट एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ दैट टू मीटिंग गियर्स सो वी डिस्कस दैट द इफेक्ट ऑफ दैट चेंज इन सेंटर डिस्टेंस ऑन द बैकलेस प्रेशर एंगल एंड द एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ द टू मीटिंग गियर्स सो इन दिस नेक्स्ट वीडियो <coughs> we discuss about the length of path of contact and number of teeth in contact length of path of contact and number of teeth in contact <coughs> so here consider two meshing gears here consider two meshing gears with center o1 and with center o2 two meshing gears with center o1 and with center o2 now suppose consider this left hand side gear left hand side gear with center o1 with root circle showing by this circle root circle showing by this circle base circle showing by this circle peak circle and then addendum circle <coughs> then addendum circle so for gear having center o1 gear having center o1 these are shown four circles are shown and these are the root circle base circle peak circle and the addendum circle these are the four circles for this gear number gear on the left hand side with the center o1 or gear on right hand side with center o2 similar four circles are shown here as a root circle base circle again peak circle again this peak circle and this addendum circle this addendum circle now these addendum circles of both the gears both the gears should not pass should not pass below this root circle should not pass below this root circle so this left hand side gear addendum circle is a touch here so this root circle of this right hand side gear addendum of this left hand side gear is uh, touch with this root circle of this right hand side gear addendum of this right hand side gear touch the root circle of the left hand side gear so these are, these circles are shown here like this these different circles are shown in this diagram like this <coughs> and here two gears come in contact and path of contact is now represented by cd path of contact is represented by cd Path of contact is represented by line CD. Uh, now CD, line CD. On this profile, on this involute profile of gear two, involute profile of this gear two, PC come in contact. Involute profile of gear two, PC come in contact with this profile. Involute profile of this gear two. O1 having center O1 come in contact with a FC. So EC is the surface on gear two come in contact with the surface FC. Come in contact with the surface FC. And to and this is represented here. EC of this gear two come in contact with the FC. now there is some distance cg there is some distance c it should be cut cg it should this this cg distance should be cut on gear number 1 on gear number 1 to accommodate to accommodate this meeting of this gear to accommodate this meeting of this gear so cg some distance is cut in the gear 1 in the gear one to accommodate this teeth accommodate this contact of this teeth accommodate the contact of the teeth these are represented here in this diagram this is represented here in this diagram so this is a uh, this is represent in this diagram now similarly similarly if you consider if you consider so these are written here 
whatever whatever we discuss now these are written here these are written here whatever discussed now these are written here so we consider we consider now in this diagram in this diagram we consider this addendum circles we consider this addendum circles for this gear 2 base circle for this gear 2 base circle for gear 1 addendum circle for this gear 1 and from this diagram we can find out we can find out that angle of rotation now in this case in this case that path of contact is a EF in this case path of contact is a EF and of course this uh, this angle of rotation of gear with center O1 now will be EF by O1C angle of contact of gear with center O1 will be equal to the EF by EF by O1C EF by O1C and now that arc subtended by this angle arc subtended by this angle at pitch circle will be given as a EF by O1C into O1P these are written here <coughs> Angle of rotation of gears with center O1 will be EF by O1C. Arc subtended by this angle at which circle is EF by O1C into O1P. So O1P divided by O1C. O1P divided by O1C is nothing but 1 upon cos pi. Is nothing but 1 upon cos pi. Is nothing but O1P. O1P upon O1C. 1p upon O1c is nothing but 1 upon cos pi that is written here 1 upon cos pi and then number of teeth we can find out as a arc uh, number of teeth we can find out as a <coughs> this arc this arc EF cos pi into 1 upon circular pitch EF cos pi upon into 1 upon circular pitch this is the number of teeth so this we can write here for the arc of contact, arc subtended by this angle and the number of teeth, number of teeth accordingly we can calculate. Now we can again denote or we can again represent, we can again represent this called two teeth come in contact, this in this diagram two teeth come in contact with a two teeth come in contact of a gear and a pinion of a gear or wheel and a pinion so one gear represent pinion another gear represent wheel or gear another gear represent wheel or gear and now in this case now in this case we denote we denote this small notation small notations we denote for the pinion and large capital letters capital letters we denote here for a gear or wheel capital letters we denote here for a gear or wheel so these capital letters represent gear capital letters represent gear small letters represent pinion small letters represent pinion <coughs> Now here two gears are represented. Two gears represent one represent V, another represent P. Capital letters denote this gear dimension or wheel dimension. Small letters denote the pinion dimension. So capital R A nothing but the addendum circle radius of the wheel. Capital R represent the P circle radius of the wheel. Small R A addendum for the pinion. Small r is represent p circle radius of that pinion, <coughs> and like that. So here, here this m n, m n are cut on this circle. M n cut on this circle of this gear. M n points are the points on the circle. Points on this circle base circle. Points on this base circle of this gear on the base circle of this gear similarly similarly this Q 
and E. E and E are the points on the base circle of this pinion. E and E points on the base circle of this pinion. And this point of contact, now this point of contact represented by EF. Represented by EF. Point of contact represented by EF from this point to the this point. EF. E to EF. E to EF. This point. EF. So these are the points. These are the points represented on different circles. These are the points represented on the different circles. Now point of contact here considered as a EF. EF. So this EF, EF is a combination of EP plus PF. EF we can write as a EP plus PF. EP plus PF. So this EP plus PF, again we can write EP plus PF. Now for this, now EP plus PF. Now this FP or PF, FP or PF we can write as a FQ. We can write as a F to Q total distance F to Q minus P Q. F to Q minus P Q. This distance will give after subtraction we will give this distance. F P. We will give this distance F P. F Q minus P Q. So F Q is nothing but F Q. F to Q we can calculate. From this triangle, you can calculate from this triangle O1 EFQ. From this triangle O1 EFQ, this right angle triangle, this right angle triangle O1 EFQ. From this right angle triangle, we can write down, we can write down for the EFQ value, for this EFQ value, for this EFQ value, this EFQ nothing but O1 EFQ square minus o1 q square o1 f square minus o1 q square in and these, these are subtraction in square root this subtraction by using right angle triangle principle right angle triangle principle this this distance this distance should be this square of this hypotenuse minus square of this side and subtraction of this all these squares and taking square root of that subtraction, we will give this side length. We will give this side length. So this FQ is nothing, nothing but O1 F square minus O1 Q square and subtraction of all these into square root. Square root of all, subtraction of all these we will give this value FQ. We will give this value FQ. And PQ, PQ value, PQ, PQ from this triangle. If you from this triangle, we will find out as a O1 P cos pi. PQ. PQ is you can find out as a O1 P cos pi. O1 P sin phi, not cos pi. O1 P sin phi. This PQ is nothing but O1 P sin phi. O1 P sin phi. Now, so by substituting these, substituting these values, by substituting these values, we will get, by substituting these values, we will get like this. We will get like this. Now here this, these values are put here for FQ we will put these values square root of square root of subtraction of hypotenuse minus another side square minus PQ is nothing but O1 P sin phi and now simplifying this simplifying this O1 Q square O1 Q again this O1 Q is nothing but O1 P cos phi O1 Q is nothing but O1 P cos phi so this, this become O1 P square and cos square phi and again simplification of this again simplification of this we will give we will give for now now for this fp we will give this expression or this equation fp value fp value we will give, the, give this expression for pe for pe length of pe we will get similarly similarly uh, for as, as we go for this FP, similarly we go for this P, similarly we go for P, we will get this notation, this expression, we will get this expression in terms of O2 F square. P, similarly for P, e, 
Similarly for e e e to e e to e again we follow that same pattern again we follow that uh, same pattern or same approach. Now for this calculation of this e e we use this triangle. We use this triangle. The for calculation of length e we use this triangle. Now similar to this e p. We can add P is equal to O2 A plus square minus O2 P square cos square pi and square raised to one half bracket raised to one half minus O2 P sin pi. Now put this P and E F P into this equation E F. So this E F become this E F become now like this. This equation plus this equation, this equation plus this equation. We will get this total E F. Now E F now these values this O one F is nothing but a R A O one F nothing but a R A O one P nothing but small R. Now put all these values put all these values and we will get this equation like this. We will get this equation like this in terms of addendum value and in terms of the base circle radius. In terms of addendum value and in terms of the base circle radius. And after simplification. We will get we will get path of contact is equal to in terms of addenda value in terms of the base circle in terms of addenda value in terms of the base circle like this like this so this is the path of contact this is the path of contact similarly arc of contact similarly arc of contact this path this arc of contact nothing but the path traced by a point on p circle from beginning of the engagement to the end of the engagement of the Uh, engagement teeth or pair of teeth. Teet. So this arc of contact nothing but a this arc of contact arc of contact nothing but a <coughs> here this arc of contact nothing but a consider this arc G H this arc G two H this arc G two H this H point is here. Now this length is measured on the pitch circle. This length is measured on the pitch circle. This length is measured on the pitch circle. So this point from G to H, this point from G to H, is considered as arc of contact. Point from G to H, this will be considered as arc of contact. Similarly, similarly, on this pitch circle, on this pitch circle. On this pinion pitch circle also, pinion pitch circle also, this is the path of contact K to N. On this this pitch circle, on this pitch circle, that path of contact on this pinion is K to N. Is K to N. And pitch circle on pitch circle of wheel or gear, pitch circle of wheel or gear, this path of contact is G to H. G to H. Now this G to H and K to L are same. G to H and K to L are same. And this is nothing but a arc of contact. This is nothing but a arc of contact. Now this we can find out now. We can find out this arc G H. We can find out this arc G H. This arc G H nothing but a arc E M N. Arc G H we can find out as a arc E M N divided by cos phi. Arc E M N divided by cos phi. So R K G H is nothing but R K M N divided by cos phi. Now this R K M N is nothing but a path of contact E F. R K M N, which is nothing but a path of contact E F. <coughs> so this E M N, this E M N M N, which is also equal to E F, which is also equal to E F. E M N is also equal to E F. So this E F. Value we already calculated. This E F value already calculated as E P plus P F. E F value already calculated as E P plus P F. Now this E P and P F are nothing but the E P divided by cos phi, P F divided by cos phi. So this value. <coughs> Now this this value. These are the what we discussed. Now these are represented here. So this arc G H and arc K L are same, and this is nothing but arc of contact. This is nothing but arc of contact. So from the beginning to the end of the engagement of that pair of teeth, 
and that path is nothing but the arc of contact that path is nothing but the arc of contact and that arc of contact is represented on considered on pitch circle considered on pitch circle of that particular gears particular gears so on pinion pitch circle whatever that arc of contact is represented here arc of contact represented here here to here like that here to here like that so these are discussed here we are discussed here and for the gear there that pitch circle that path arc of contact is represented on the pitch circle is g to l g to h g to l g to h g to h g to h so this is represented here g g to h and k to l and these are calculated arc g h you can calculate as arc m n by cos pi arc mn again we can arc mn is nothing but the path of contact here arc mn is nothing but the path of contact here that path of contact we already calculated that path of contact we already calculated or ef we can again write as ep plus pf and ep this arc of contact this arc of contact is nothing but the path of contact divided by cos pi so for this path of contact ef we can put this value we can put this value divided by cos pi divided by cos pi so ep divided by cos pi plus pf divided by cos pi summation of these two terms give will you will you give you arc of contact <coughs> now maximum path of contact is equal to pq plus pf maximum path of contact is equal to pq plus pf pq plus pr so this pq is pq plus pr maximum path of contact maximum path of contact is p to q and p to pr summation of this pq and pr is nothing but a maximum uh, path of contact maximum path of contact this pq now we can calculate as o1 p sin phi pr we can calculate as o2 p sin phi now this o1 p and o2 p are nothing but a base circle radius of pinion and base circle radius of the gear so it is a sin phi take common and in bracket it comes as a small r plus r so this is the maximum path of contact this is the arc of contact this is the arc of contact <coughs> for this engaged teeth for this engaged teeth now number of pairs of teeth of contact number of pairs of teeth of contact or contact ratio or contact ratio these are nothing but the length of arc of contact upon circular pitch this is nothing but the length of arc of contact upon circular pitch so length of arc of contact we calculated right now length of arc of contact we calculated right now is equal to ef by cos pi length of arc of contact length of arc of contact is nothing but a ef upon cos pi ef upon cos pi e f upon cos pi divided by circular pitch 1 upon pi m divided by circular pitch is nothing but pi m circular pitch is pi m so this length of arc of contact e f by cos pi divided by pi m is nothing but the number of pairs in contact number of pairs of teeth in coming contact number of pairs of teeth come in contact so this n contact should be n contact should be greater than 1 then contact should be greater than 1 for the continuous transmission of power then contact should be greater than 1 for continuous transmission of power we discussed it here we discussed here number of pairs of teeth come in contact arc of contact length of path of contact and here we discussed that length of path of contact uh, what will be the maximum condition what will be the maximum condition or how much we can extend how much we can extend this path of contact how much we can extend this path of contact that we discussed here that we discussed here. 